nail tutorial and I'm so excited because I've been out and about enjoying the beautiful day and I decided to show you all how I did my basic um, sparkle white tips with a pink on the nail. So it's basically just a pink and white acrylic nail tutorial and I've had mine for a couple of weeks now and they're holding out pretty good. So I've been doing a few activities and I've been just enjoying the day and I've been having this song in my head which is so weird, the Garth Brooks ones, if um, tomorrow never comes. So I've been singing it and it's been bringing me kind of like memories of back home and I've been so happy about it because it reminds me of my family and I miss them so much. So anyways, I filmed some of the day that we had today on my vlog channel. It should be posted up soon and definitely subscribe if you haven't. Check it out. It's a little bit about me if you would like to get to know me and my family. Um, you're more than welcome to it and I hope that you all enjoy this nail tutorial. Stick around. I'll show you all the steps on how to get these basic pink and white sparkly nails. Alright, so I'm going to start off by taking my nail, and of course I am using a white tip. Um, also, if it was a real nail, obviously I would be prepping my nails by making sure that there was no shine on the nail bed and going in the same direction when filing. I'm also going to be taking my rhinestone brush number 6. Also, if you see my fingers shiny, it's because I got a whole bunch of uh, nail glue on my fingers. I didn't realize that the nail was broken at the bottom and it was leaking as I was pushing it. It feels horrible and it looks really shiny. It's awkward. But anyways, so um, I'm, I like to do the white part of the nail whenever I'm doing this style. The same, about the same size as my nail bed. I'm going to go ahead and start off by taking white sparkles, which is one of our new acrylic glitter colors that we carry. It's a white um, acrylic glitter color with sparkle in it. So it'll have a little twist to the um, basic pink and white. I'm going to take a medium sized pearl. Place it right on the nail. Take it from side to side. Now it won't be the same consistency as you're probably used to seeing because it has the shimmers in there. So it'll be a little bit chunkier and um, you have about three minutes to kind of work with it. So I'm not going to worry about the front for now, but I'm going to go ahead and wet my brush with the liquid and then make my smile line. And I'm going to make sure it's nice and deep. I don't know, for some reason when it comes down to the white tip, I love um, making the smile line deeper. Same brush and taking um, my pink powder. Now, you definitely don't want to use the clear, well you can like most people do, but I think that it looks better when you use the pink on the nail bed and then the clear on the rest of the nail just so that it really stands out. Otherwise. Um, you won't really get that bold, bold effect. So I'm going to take a really small pearl and place it right on the center and make sure that this does not touch the white. Then I'm going to take another small pearl and you want to make sure that you place this one right by the cuticle area but you do not allow it to touch the skin. So using your brush as a barrier, go all around and just go all around and then just feather it down without it touching the white. Then I'm going to be taking my clear powder, taking a very small pearl as well, and placing it right on the white. Take it from side to side, and then just feather it down. Create a little bit of th thickness right in the front, or on the tip, and we're gonna go ahead and just turn it over, and feather it out. It's a little bit harder for me to work with the camera because I switched spots. So it's a little bit awkward the way I'm working today. I'm going to be using the gold drill that we carry on our website, JaniceMakeup.com. There's only a handful of these left, so if you like the gold color, definitely check out the website. Um, after these run out, we're going to only be carrying the pink ones. So, um, like I said, there's just a limited supply on these, and they're very reasonable, and they are for home use mainly, not really for professional use. Thank you. 
and these are my nails as you can see so I've had them for about two weeks they've been holding up very well and I use exactly the same methods that I just showed you all so I hope you found this helpful thank y'all so much for joining me on this tutorial I hope y'all give it a try if you do let me know down below in the comments I would love to hear what y'all come up with or post a picture on my Facebook wall I would love to see your nails so thank you guys I will see y'all very soon thank you so much for the support take care and keep smiling until later bye